Hey everyone, so this is me with my um, first Halloween look of this year. Um, it's just a really simple skull. I um, used just like four products, well five products. I used cream makeup that I got at, you know, they were like a euro each or something, just at the costume shop. Um, black and white eyeshadow um, and then a little bit of yellow eyeshadow for the lips. But yeah, it's just a really simple skull um, head that anyone can do. It took maybe... 45 minutes in total for me to do um, and then that's pretty much it so I hope you find this simple and easy enough to follow and I will see you for at least another couple of um, Halloween tutorials before the end of the month so thanks a million for watching guys. Okay, to, so to start off with, I used a really light taupe um, eyebrow pencil just to outline the general shape of where I want to put the black um, before I started applying the paint. The paint I used, or rather the cream makeup I used was really inexpensive one that I got at um, just a local like supermarket it was like I think I got the black and the white for one euro 99 cent or whatever but I got one that was safe to use around the eye area and it's safe enough for kids and everything I prefer the water-based ones personally just because I find I can um, blend easier over them once I have them um, like set with powder but for the um, eyes I used black coal as well just in on the waterline because I didn't want any kind of skin color to show through whatsoever and then I just used um, a paintbrush just a really simple paintbrush to fill in all the areas that I wanted black with the cream makeup When I was applying the black watercolour or cream paint, I didn't worry too much about getting it as even and opaque as possible because I'm going to be using a black eyeshadow. Kind of try to get the blackest eyeshadow you can and this is what's really going to black out and make the black as even as possible and it's going to make, um, you know, it's going to set it in place so that it doesn't move. I'm just doing the neck here kind of quickly to show you how you could um, create kind of that spine down the neck area. Now I didn't bother colouring in the whole neck but if you wanted to you could. Then the reason I did the black first was so that I could clean away any fallout and have the rest of my skin clean and ready to take the white cream makeup. So for here I just went ahead and did the exact same thing that I did with the black. And applied it first of all with a sponge into any of the larger areas and then I used a paintbrush on the smaller areas where I needed to be a bit more precise.
One really important thing when using an eyeshadow to um, set everything in place is to make sure that it's matte. You don't want anything shimmery or shiny for this. So just use a really flat matte eyeshadow. I just used um, NYX's white matte eyeshadow. For the mouth area, I decided to go with pretty kind of normal looking teeth. One thing you could do would be make them a little bit more, you could make them a bit longer with like spiky like ends where say they would meet the root. But um, I kind of went a bit quicker here than I probably would if it was for a proper costume makeup. Um, and then for the rest of the black area, once I have the black and the white in place and set and the kind of outline of the teeth drawn on, I just went around the outskirts of all the black and softened the edges and created some shadows with just with a blending brush and the black eyeshadow. It kind of makes everything look a bit spookier, a bit more three-dimensional and a little bit more realistic if that's at all possible with this kind of makeup. For the teeth, I just used a really tiny shader brush and shaded in between the teeth and just above them and created lines going from the teeth, like kind of say the roots of the teeth going up towards the nose area. Um, another thing you could do is just maybe skip drawing in teeth altogether and just leave the lips kind of black, not the entire lip, just more towards the center and then have those lines going up towards the nose. But for this, because I did add teeth, I just used some matte yellow eyeshadow it's from NYX again and I filled in the teeth on the lip area and um, just to make them look a bit more rotten and kind of skeletony I suppose and then just for the final touch if you want you can draw kind of like a branch shape coming up from one of the eye sockets to make it look like there's a crack in the skull Thank you. 